It's your boy Inka back here again with another little video, little reaction. As I usually say, I'm not gonna talk anymore. So let's get into the video. What is a fertilized egg? You can Google it. Go ahead. I can tell you it's not a human being. What is it? Is it a ball bear? I believe it's a zygote. <laughs> what is a zygote? A zygote of what species? Because there's lots of different zygotes. There's there's ball bear zygotes. Mm -hmm. There's elephant zygotes. Mm -hmm. What's a zygote? You have Google, you tell me. And what is your background in medicine and science? My days, people who do that. What is your background? If you're not qualified in this subject, you can't know anything about it. You can't go and read a book on your own to study about said subject. You have to be qualified in said subject. And I bet you she isn't qualified in said subject, but the usual. Fertilized egg is an embryo. An embryo is an early stage of development of a multicellular organism. In general, in organisms that reproduce sexually, embryonic development is part of the life cycle that begins after fertilization and continues to the formation of body structures. A fertilized egg is an embryo or a zygote, no matter how you want to call it, that's a member of our human being. You're using a dehumanizing term to dehumanize human beings in the earliest stages by saying, oh, it's just a fertilized egg. A fertilized egg, when sperm meets egg, bam, a unique human life comes into existence with a brand new genetic code that's never existed before and will never exist again. And that new, new genetic, genetic code, life. what is it? Is it dead? It's not alive. It's not a life. Wait, how can it grow into a baby if it's not alive? It's not a life. It's not a life. What is it? So it's, it's living, it's but thing. it's not a life. It's a thing. It is a clump of cells. I'm a clump of cells. Yeah, and you have life. I'm a, I'm a thing. Yes, and you have a brain, and you have brain waves. So, and you have- These people don't want to see the truth. It's not in them to want to know what the truth is. They don't care about the truth. It's just my personal opinion and my personal feelings. They don't care about the truth. This all sounds to me just like a couple of years ago, 50, 60 years ago, when there was a certain demographic of people who are judged based off the color of their skin. Now it's whatever you feel this human who they claim is not a human is. I decide when you're a human and when you're not a human. Sounds pretty familiar to me. You have the ability to have consciousness. You can feel pain. An embryo has the ability to feel consciousness. Not until the third point. trimester. So now, okay, so what you're saying is your value as a person is based on your functional abilities. Which is actually your autonomy isn't until you have consciousness. Who says who? Says the law. Your bodily autonomy isn't until you have consciousness? Yes, that is how bodily autonomy works. That is why you are able to harvest organs from people who are brain dead. And That's not how the law works because in PCB Planned Parenthood, the Supreme Court allows abortions to be restricted by states at about 24 weeks. But we but we know a child, a lot of people would argue that a child of 24 weeks isn't fully cognizant of who he or she is. Mm -hmm. So is KCP Planned Parenthood wrong? People have varying opinions about it. I don't think life begins at a heartbeat. And a heartbeat bill, that's not even a heartbeat yet. It's fetal cardiac pull activity is how you call it. Yeah, because it's, it's not a heartbeat. Yeah, if it's just part of the heart that's developed. Yeah, so it's the not heart a heartbeat. Fully developed the heart isn't things. beating yet. It's just it's not pumping blood, it's so it's just not heartbeat yet. But it's not heartbeat. It's just sending electrical impulses, which is not a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. And I asked earlier what your medical and You're... scientific background was. I can Google. What I have... was your medical and scientific background? I don't background? have a medical and scientific background because so I'm a what smart are your person and I can Google. So you think your Google is better than a doctor? or something? Hell yeah, because you just disputed when 96% of all biologists agree that at the moment of conception, a unique, whole, living human being comes into existence. They don't believe you want to life. call it a fertilized egg. It's, it's also life. called, via Google, an embryo or zygote. Those are stages in every person's life. You didn't come from an embryo or fertilized egg. You once were one. And your value today as a human being that makes you irreplaceable was the very same even when you were a fertilized egg or zygote in your mother's fallopian tube. What she's saying is now you can't speak on a subject if you're not qualified in this subject. I wonder how many things she spoke about that she's not qualified in because that's her, her stance. 
if you're not qualified in a certain subject, you can't speak on it. But there are definitely many things she's done that in. But as I say, they don't want to hear the truth. They don't care about the, about the truth. They don't want to see the truth. They want, don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to know the truth. They just want to live in lies. That's all it is, in my opinion. My feelings, that's all it is. It's the same, because it's a slippery slope. If at any moment you start saying, well, I don't believe you have human rights until you have consciousness. I don't believe you have human rights until you fully have the ability to reproduce. You don't have human rights until you're fully grown. That's a slippery slope because every single one of us would come up with a different, different definition of when human rights begin. And throughout our history, as I pointed out at the beginning of my presentation, throughout history, when you allow people to decide what characteristics deem a human being worthy of life and that life worthy protection, we already decided that in the Harry happened. Shibo case in the Supreme Court, which stated that if you don't have brain waves, then you do not have bodily autonomy legally. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people I know would deeply disagree with what the Supreme Court said, just like how I disagree with what the Supreme Court said in Dred Scott and said that human beings who are black weren't full persons. Well, well, the the Supreme yourself. Court said that in Plessy v. Ferguson that, yeah, you can have separate but equal sounds good to us. Or what the Supreme Court said in Roe v. Wade, the unique whole living human being doesn't have the right to be protected. I disagree with a lot of Supreme Court law. And by the way, what's the Supreme Court's background science? Because I'm pretty damn sure <laughs> in Roe versus Wade, the seven men that ruled the Roe versus Wade literally started out the decision saying, we're not scientists or philosophers here. I wish scientists were the ones that were making these decisions. And me too, because 96% of them agree that human life begins at the moment of conception. <laughs> the question is, is that human life battle? You're like arguing yourself in a way it doesn't sound great for you. Excuse me? You don't, you just denied like science to everyone here. It is a life. It is a member of our species. That is what that is undisputed. That it is a life. It what is you're arguing like is that that life doesn't have value. Let me help you. You're arguing that that life doesn't have value. That a woman's life has more value than your own. That's basically the argument. And uh, the more and more I'm hearing things that are going on in society, the more and more I'm beginning to realise I can understand how things like Roe v. Wade did exist. Because of people like the one who's supporting this, I can understand how people like Hitler did exist because of people like you. You decide whenever life is valuable, when you want to decide, when you feel like it. Life is based off of the way you feel and how you want to do things and based off of the convenience and the selfishness of your own life. That's how you decide things. But anyway, that was another video, another reaction. As I usually say, if you like the video, like the video as much as possible. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Comment down below. Let's get a discussion going down below. I reply to all comments, so comment down below. Follow me on Instagram at Yinka, that guy, and we out.